Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. Today's video will be focusing on lower back pain. Lower back pain caused due to prolonged sitting, especially due to COVID situation. Most of us are working from home, staying home, sitting on the chair a lot, end up with a stiff lower back, tightening your lower back pain. I'll be showing you guys three of my favorite stretches which will help you lose up your lower back. One mobility drill for your hip which will help you lose up your joints and two, three of my favorite exercises which will help you strengthen your lower back, strengthen your glutes and strengthen all the surrounding muscles which will help you keep a good and upright posture. First stretch we'll be doing will be a child's pose. For child's pose, I, would, I like to modify it a little bit and add some shoulder extension and trunk extension. Let's start. Get on, on all fours, retract your shoulder blades. Make sure your legs are open, wide open. You sit back, slightly sitting back, inching your hips back. Push your head down. Start crawling your arm forward. Your hips are pushing back and you're crawling your arm forward. Push your chest down towards your ground. Feel a deep stretch in your mid thoracic spine. We're holding this position for five to 10 seconds. Once you feel comfortable here, stretch your arm up. Rotate your arm on the opposite side. Slightly trip your hip here and feel a deep stretch on your lats. Stay on this position for one, five to ten seconds. Then you can switch your arm, move your arm on the opposite angle, sit back and stretch your lats. Hold the stretch for five to ten seconds. Stay there comfortable and then come back. For second stretch, we'll be performing prone press. A prone press is one of my favorite stretches for trunk extension. Let's go. Lean forward on the ground, keep your shoulder blade beside your body, retract your shoulders back, squeeze your glute. For your head, supporting your head, you can roll your mat, put it under forehead on top, so it provides a bit of support for your neck. Keep your arms on the side of your body. First thing you're gonna start is squeeze your glute, once your glutes are squeezed, slightly lift your neck up, slightly lift your trunk up, extend your trunk, move to the position until it's pain free. Hold this position for a few seconds and then relax. Make sure you are engaging your glutes, squeezing your glutes as soon as you're trying to lift your upper body up. If you can go higher, go a little, move up, stay in this, on this position for a few seconds, feel a good and deep stretch and slowly lean down on the ground. For the third stretch, we'll be doing an iliopsoas stretch. Iliopsoas muscle attaches down here. To perform a stretch for this muscle, you need to get in a lunge position. So first, let's get in a comfortable lunge position. Once you're in this position, try to pelvic tilt. Pelvic tilt means push your hip forward, rotate your pelvis here. You're gonna feel a good stretch in your psoas muscle and a little bit of your quads. Now to feel a little bit deeper, I want you to lunge a little bit forward. Push yourself a little bit forward, get one arm overhead, then your head position, rotate your trunk, internal rotation, and then slightly fan back. Hold this position for two to three seconds, feel a good deep stretch going down, retract up, slightly fan forward, rotate your trunk, and feel the stretch. For the fourth variation, we're gonna be performing a lower back hip mobility. This is one of my favorite stretches. Make, get your arms back, shoulder retract back, bring your legs forward, make sure there's a distance between your legs. We're gonna start with internal and external rotation. So one side, drop your hip, one leg on one side, slow and steady, feel a good stretch down here. Once you're in one position, then lift your legs slowly and go to the opposite side. Feel the stretch. Avoid lifting your hip too much high. Avoid shrugging your shoulders. Make sure your shoulder, shoulders are back and sitting backwards. Perform this stretch on both sides at least five to 10 repetitions and feel a good stretch in your lower back and your hip. For the fifth variation, we'll be performing a lower back stabilization exercise. One of my favorite exercises, bird dog. For this exercise, make sure you get on all four, retract your scapula, pelvic tilt, engage your core. Start with the opposite arm, internal rotation position, 
punch forward, opposite leg goes straight behind on the ground, squeeze your glutes, then lift your leg up slightly from the air. Hold this position for 10 to 15 seconds. It will help you stabilize your spine, your core, and your lower back. Once you're done, slowly bring back your both legs, place on the ground, start with the opposite arm and opposite leg, punch forward, keep it stabilized, and make sure you're squeezing your arms, squeezing your glutes, squeezing your lower back. For the sixth and the final exercise variation, we'll be performing one of my favorite exercises, glute bridge. For a glute bridge, lay down on the back, Retract your scapula, make sure you're keeping your blades engaged. Avoid the issue towards when you retract your scapula, you'll see there's an arch. Make sure you pelvic tilt and engage your core. Avoid arching your lower back. Both arms on the side. Lift your hips up. Try to make a good straight bridge. Squeeze your glutes, engage your glutes, engage your hamstring, and slowly come down. Again, retract your scapula, core engage, push up. Squeeze of you. I like to do 10 to 15 repetitions for this exercise. If you like to see more videos like this, make sure hit like, hit subscribe, and share this video. See you soon.